Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Tiffany, and today I'll be painting a scorpion. So I got a little sidetracked from painting bones lately, and I've uh, been focusing on bugs for some reason. But uh, I've been doing quite a few lately. I did some uh, wooden ornaments that I've painted various bugs. Um, I ended up I gave them to my aunt, so she has them at her store. See if I can sell them there. But I uh, got a little inspired by uh, some scorpions. Um, so I decided to paint a king scorpion. So I was at the uh, tattoo convention a couple months ago in Calgary. And I ended up, I found a keychain with a little scorpion uh, set in some resin. Um, which I think is really cool that they glow under UV light. It was my first tattoo convention I ever checked out. Um, eventually I do want to get into tattooing. Uh, but I got a lot of practicing I need to do. It was definitely right up my alley. Um, lots of strange and unusual things. I ended up getting a uh, set of earrings too that are snake vertebrae, which I thought was pretty cool. And there was also so many tattoo artists there to uh, be inspired by. It's definitely uh, quite a large event. I don't know why I haven't gone sooner. I lived in Calgary for about 10 years and literally that was the first time I went. I definitely recommend going if you are interested. I've been intrigued lately with things that actually glow under UV. Um, I've been seeing a lot of like uranium glass, so I ended up uh, started collecting that. I even searched my sea glass that I've gathered and found some uranium glass in there too, which is kind of cool. I live on the East Coast, so I definitely have my fair share of sea glass. Um, beach combing is one of my favorite things to do in my pastime. Just wander the beach and see what I can find. Shells or, like I said, tons of sea glass. Rocks. I've also found a few different bones on the shore. Um, last time I was home I found uh, a, like, a fish jaw, which I thought was pretty cool. I never found one of those before. I also come across the odd bone that's kind of like sea glassy, I guess. It's just been beaten up with the rocks, so it's kind of worn down. But it's definitely interesting. Can't wait to get a little cabinet built so I can display some of my things in that. Um, I was at uh, antique auction the other day too and found some marbles and I got curious with those. Found some of those that glowed also. No uranium ones, but uh, there's some different ones there. We'll come across one eventually. Just have to wait and see, I guess. <laughs> So I decided to paint the background of this uh, neon blue. Um, I wish I could have done the actual scorpion to glow in the dark, but I thought it'd be a cool aspect to get at least the background to glow. Um, kind of similar to when I did the frog with the skeleton, I made uh, the outline of the frog uh, UV reactive. I ended up doing like three coats of this color uh, just try to give it the cover and I keep staring at it and like I think I need to do one more coat. Um, I need to take some good videos of it and I'll get them posted for anyone who wants to see them. But I guess I am almost to the end of my video. Um, if you stuck around, thanks so much. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, I got some other videos if you want to check those out. You can also check me out on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, at Buffett Creations. Uh, thanks again and hope you stick around. Bye!